Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. Let's continue with the topic of basic editing commands in AutoCAD. In this tutorial you will learn scale command and stretch command. Whenever you want to reduce or increase the size of an object, you can make use of the scale command. I'll make a rectangle here by clicking the first corner and the opposite corner and create a circle using the center radius method. I want the center of the circle to be at the center of the rectangle. So I'll track these two points. Now I'll give scale command by typing SC at the command prompt area or you can access the scale command from the modify panel. So I'll click on scale. Using a standard window, I'll select the entire object. Now it will ask you for a base point, which is a reference point on the object. I'll choose this point as the base point. Now you are asked to give a scale factor and you can see a symbol of scale appearing at the cursor. If I want to increase the size of this object by two times, I can give a scale factor of two. So I'll type the value two and the size of it got enlarged by two times. Whenever you want to reduce the size of an object, you can give a scale factor between 0 and 1. So I'll give an enter to repeat the scale command and I'll type P at the select object prompt to get my previous selection. I'll choose the same point as the base point and when I'm asked to give the scale factor, I'll type 0.6. And when the scale factor is 0.6, the size of the object will get reduced by 40%. I'll again give enter to repeat the scale command and I'll select the same set of objects this time, I'll choose the center of the circle as the base point. Now, I want to increase the size of this object by 60%. So, I'll give a scale factor of 1.6. From this, it's clear that base point is the only point on the object, which will not undergo any change in its position when you scale it. We also have a copy option in the scale command, just as we have seen in the case of rotate command. So, I'll give an enter to repeat the scale command and I'll select the same set of objects and I'll choose this point as the base point. Next, I'll go to copy option, which leaves behind the original object. Now, it'll ask you for a scale factor. Suppose if I want to increase the size of this object by 50%, I should give a scale factor of 1.5. Now you have got both the objects, the original as well as the scaled one. I'll undo this operation. Next, we will see the reference option in the scale command. A reference option lets you scale an object based on a reference length. First of all, I'll measure this distance. For that, I'll go to Utilities, Measure, Distance and I'll pick these two points. The distance is displayed as 1354. Now, I'll press Escape to cancel it. Next, I'll draw a line through a distance of 3000 in the rightward direction. So, I'll activate the ortho mode, keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type the distance 3000. So, this is my reference length. Next, I'll execute the scale command. So I'll click on scale command, select the objects, choose this point as the base point. I'll click on the reference option. Now it'll ask you to specify the reference length. Reference length is this particular length from here to here. Now it'll ask you to specify a new length. New length is up till this end point. So you can pick a point over here. The object got scaled in such a way that this length is 3000 units. Let's verify it. I'll go to Utilities, Measure, Distance. I'll pick these two endpoints and you can see that the distance is 3000. So that's all about scale command. Now we have come to the stretch command. Stretch command is used to increase or decrease the length of an object. And when you stretch an object, you're actually moving the various points on it. Let's see an example. I'll draw a line using the line command from this point to this point. My ortho mode is on, then I'll go to stretch. The stretch command can be given either by typing the letter S using the keyboard or you can choose this command from the modify panel. I'll click on the stretch command. At the select object prompt, you can use either a crossing window or a crossing polygon to make the object selection and you're not supposed to use any other method. So I'll use a crossing window to make a selection. And I have selected that endpoint. Next, I should specify the base point and second point and you can see that you have actually moved that end point. I'll give enter to repeat the stretch command and I'll select the entire line and all the points in it. Now, I'll select the base point and second point and you can see that the line will get moved because all the points in the line got selected. You can also rotate an object using stretch. Let's see that. So, I'll give stretch again. 
and I'll select this endpoint using the crossing window. I'll select the base point here and when I move the mouse you can see that you are actually performing a kind of rotation using stretch command. Next I'll create another object to demonstrate stretch command. I'll erase this object and I'll create a rectangle. Lower left corner I'll pick here then I'll go to dimension option and I'll give a length of 1500 and a width of 500 and I'll pick the opposite corner point here. I'll click on this rectangle and you can see that you have got blue dots at the corners as well as at the midpoint of these lines and these points are called grips. We'll have an exclusive video on grips later. I'll take the cursor onto this mid grip and I'll choose the option convert to arc. I'll turn the ortho mode on and I'll keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type the value 250 which is half of the rectangle's width. Next I'll construct a circle using the center radius option and I'll choose the center point of the arc as a center and I'll click to define the radius. Next I'll cut a notch over here for that I'll draw a line then shift right click and choose nearest and click a point over here then I'll type 150 units as the length of the line segment. Then rightward I'll type 300 and keep the cursor in the upward and type 150 and I'll give an enter to go out of the line command. Next I'll trim off this edge using the trim command. Next I'll perform stretch command on this figure. When I'm asked to select objects I'll pick my first corner here and drag the mouse leftward to create a crossing window and I'll pick the lower left corner here to complete the window. Now you can see that certain points on the object are included in this window and when I pick the base point and second point over here only that particular portion will get stretched. The second point I'll define rightward at a distance of 1000 units. I can also stretch this part alone like this and this part can also be stretched or this part. Depending upon the points captured within the crossing window only that particular part will get stretched. In AutoCAD certain objects cannot be stretched. For example this circle. I'll give stretch command and I'll select the circle using a crossing window. I'll define my base point and second point like this and you can see that the entire circle moves and it won't get stretched. And that's all about the stretch command. In this tutorial we have learned scale command and stretch command. In the next tutorial we will create some figures using these editing commands so that you will get a hands-on experience in using these commands. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses you will get lifetime account means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses. You will also get all future updations of lessons for free. You can get all your queries answered through WhatsApp chat and mail.